triangulation is when the abuser introduces a person, place, or thing, and they use the person, place, or thing to manipulate the target's emotions. Let's go through all three. A abuser will use a thing to triangulate with the target. For example, their cell phone. And so what they'll do is when the target is trying to have a conversation with the narcissist, the narcissist will not make eye contact and instead they will play with their phone the entire time. Or if you're eating dinner with the narcissist, the narcissist will strategically use their phone to triangulate with you. And what they're doing is they're sending the target a message that their phone is of more value, that whatever it is on their phone takes priority over the target. And so this is an example of using a thing to triangulate. Narcissists also will use other people to triangulate. And they do this by using the third person as a comparison to the target. And this is a huge red flag for narcissism. It's when they introduce a third person into the conversation to compare you to. For example, the narcissist will say to you, I really think that your uh, cooking is could be better. Linda is such a good cook. When I go to Linda's house, I can't wait to eat. Okay, so instead of just telling you straight up, I really don't like your cooking, which is direct honest communication, what they're doing is they're bringing in a third party, their party they're triangulating to manipulate how you feel about yourself. Narcissists also triangulate with places. For example, if they know that the target cannot stand, let's say Mexican food, then they will insist on going to a Mexican restaurant and they are sending you the message that this place is more important than you. Another example of using a place to triangulate is by saying, I am applying for jobs in Oklahoma when they know that the target does not want to move and they know that the target has straight up told them many times that they never want to move to Oklahoma. So that's how they use a place to triangulate. They're sending the message that this place is more important to me than you. The other type of triangulation that most people are very familiar with is when the narcissist will use another person to transfer information to the target. Instead of the abuser going to the target and saying, you're a bad cook, I can't stand your cooking, what they'll do is they'll go to another person and have that person call you up and say, I hear that you're really struggling with cooking and that people don't like your cooking. It's sending an indirect message to hurt you. That's it. I just wanted to go over triangulation again because a lot of people don't realize that triangulation involves people, places, and things. One of my favorite types of triangulating, and I'm being sarcastic, is when narcissists use pets to triangulate. And what they'll do is, let's say your grandmother is a raging narcissist and she has lots of cats. Well, when you go over to her house, what she'll do is you'll sit there and she'll ask, well, so tell me what's going on with you. But the entire time you're talking about what's going on with you, the narcissist will just pet the cats and will actually say things like, oh, I love you, you're so sweet, oh, you're such a good girl. And so what they're doing is they're trying to send you a message that they care more about the cat than you. So that's it. As always, stay strong and get toxic people out of your life. Bye.